first thing I can suggest to people is before you ever poke a hole in your tube, take a look at where your jig head hook needs to be coming out of your tube. If you do it correctly, that hook should lay flat on the back of the tube. What worked out well for me was to look at how a jig head matches up with my thumb size. I know if I grab that thing roughly the length of my thumbnail, I'm gonna come out in the right spot. If I hook my finger, I went too far forward. If I miss my finger, I'm too far back. Then I go and I make sure I'm centered in the middle of the tube. Once I've got that center, I'll grab a hold of it like this. I'm coming down the tube and I'm kind of watching that hook point. Where is it at? Where is it at? And I get right to the end of my thumb and I can feel it and I pop it out. Before I go any farther, I look and make sure it looks like I'm coming down the center line of the tube. In this case, I am. It's laying right down the middle and I'm the right distance back from the tube. So got that in there. I've double checked that I'm square and running down the center line of my tube. And then I just start working this quarter ounce in. With the smaller sizes, you can just pull it in there and make the turn. With the quarter ounce, you've got to work the plastic. Now I'm getting to the difficult spot. I'm getting ready to make this turn. To make that turn, I'm pulling and working from the top on this quarter ounce head. And right there, it just happened. It popped right over the eyelet and I'm snugging it into the tip and I have not torn out the bottom. So the jig head's been brought around, the hook's running right down the center. The next thing I do is I turn it around and I personally fold the tube up along the hook shank because then I can see that that hook is still staying centered. Follow it all the way up and all I'm doing is pushing the butt of that tube up towards it. So now I'm gonna pop that through and start working it around. That's about as good as you're gonna see. And if you notice, that hook point's already laying flat on the back. If your hook point is sticking up at a 45, you have succeeded in making a stick and rock and dock snagging machine. But if you've got it laying flat, you've got what we intended for you to do. And the last thing I do is I double check and I make sure I've got my plastic centered up on the tip and then I pop the eyelet out. That tube is ready to go.